Welcome, this is uh, Sports Extra Vaganza. We are live here on TV47 every Saturday. I'm Asike Jumamosi from 4 p.m. all the way to 7 p.m. This show is about you. You are the one who uh, requested us to have this show because you'll participate in it. You will talk to us, you will engage us, you will send us your WhatsApp videos, you will talk to us on X, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. All avenues are available to you. I remember also we would like to be listening to you also on phone. Remember, SMS line is also open, 22047 is our SMS line. Our call lines will be scrolling below your screen later on. Our WhatsApp number will be scrolling down on our screen below your screen. Our engagement, our social media handles will also be scrolling below. So we would like you to be part of this particular show as you have always been. And remember on this show you win. And today I want you to win airtime. Today I want you to, uh, to win uh, a lot of merchandise. I have footballs, I have jerseys, I have cones, I have Nikon net, Nikon goalpost, Nikon Naskia Warembo Angu Anakuja. But of course, uh, we're expecting the two ladies to be here with us in the next few minutes. But also I have uh, Joseph Kuria, who is my part of my analytical, I'm an analysis team or panditry uh, squad. Joseph Kuria, karibu sana kwa show. Najua Warembo, wanasemanga gentlemen first, ladies later. Uh, uh, ladies later, kasa <laughs> leo. <laughs> wanakuwa mpole pole. Uh, lakini wanakuwa. Ama ulikuwa anunulia nini kwa barabara wakashindu wa kukuja. Sasa kama tungapatana na wao, tungakuwa pasisi wote. Sijuu wa mekuwa mwapi. Karibu <laughs> sana Joseph. Uh, thank you very much. I know last time out, um, I lost a bet. Hey, hey. Ilikuwa ni bet gani lipoteza? Sasa. Ilikuwa ni game ya... It was Switzerland na Italy. Versus Italy. Yeah. Then my... Don't worry. I have, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Nilisema sita kuwacha imo kwa sababu. <laughs> Nilipoteza do. <laughs> Una, unajua kwetu? Kikwetu? Yes. Tunasema ukinunuliwa mbili, siku yeah. mbili gani? Yeah. <laughs> ukinunuliwa mbili, unarudisha mkono. Sasa kwa sababu ulinunuliwa mbili. Mbili. Na mimi niko na... Utasindikiza. Utasindikiza. <laughs> you have to lick your wounds. <laughs> Joseph Kuria, thank you very much. I know I lost my bet. Italy are the most useless team in the Euro 2024. But anyway, everything happens uh, for a, a good reason. Now, just before we get into the thick of things, I have a question of the day, which definitely you will be part of. We are asking you a very simple question. It is the easiest question, and you have airtime. I have airtime was... Uh, 1,000 Kenya shillings. I'll be giving it to around two or three or four of you airtime. 1,000 Kenya shillings. Niko nayo, takuwa tunangale namba zenyu baada isho. And then of course we shall be sending you that airtime. This is a question of the day. Which two teams, uh, imagine atini swali na kuuliza na nakupatia airtime ya bure. Which two teams will meet in the final of the Euro 2024? Which two teams will meet in the final of the UEFA Euro 2024, and why. Definitely you know how to do it. Send us a short WhatsApp clip, 20 seconds WhatsApp clip. Take yourself a video uh, telling us which teams you think will be in the final of the Euro 2024. Then of course, send it to the WhatsApp number 0793-267-279. Your new WhatsApp number 0793-267-279. We also have our live call-in number. Uh, leo niko na Mavindi. Mavindi weka yo number ya simu ya kupiga live. Tuyone hapo. Our live number. Uh, tuweke yo number tuone. Na ingoja yikuja hapo. Chubui. Yo yo. That's of course our live number. Uh, 0795 I'll repeat. Call-in number ya kupiga simu live. Ni 095-0795-045-864. Zero seven nine five zero forty five eight six four. Pigie simu, uweze kupata eh, your free airtime on sports extravaganza. My name is of course is Tony Kualanda at Kualanda on X. On TikTok is at Tony Kualanda. On Instagram is at Kualanda Tony. On Facebook is Tony Kualanda. On WhatsApp, ulizeni Joseph Kuria. <laughs> Na ameva Switzerland. And Switzerland again. tonight is playing against England. Switzerland is playing against Yes, Switzerland. Yes, they are playing. Kwanza is Samoja. So yeah. In the next about uh, less than three hours, we shall be having England versus Switzerland. You are still with Switzerland. Still with Switzerland. 
and today if if uh, Southgate and the team don't uh, up their game wanaenda kuko surprise remember i told you last time look at how Switzerland are playing they are very compact a very compact team a very disciplined team yes. they played like you know uh, we know Italy being one of the powerhouses football powerhouses but that day they were out muscled outplayed out done everything there's nothing they, they did on that game so I, uh, I still think uh, today Switzerland will will surprise I, I, I will not be vouching for any team that England is involved in utaki ah siwezi anguka mara mbili siwezi chukua England wewe tayari ushachukua Switzerland I'm not taking England because England is the most useless team is after Italy so I'm not even taking any team because I know Switzerland will definitely be them now um habari ya Naivasha sana Eh, karibu Sports Extravaganza unaongea na Tony Kwalanda hapa niko pamoja na Joseph Kuria rafiki yako mzuri sana. Tuambie eh, timu gani unaostakuwa kwa finali na ni kwa nini za Euro? Ah uh, naona France zikikutana na England kwa final. Ati France na England? Yeah, hao ndio watakutana kwa, kwa final. Na, uko sure unaongea kutoka na Ivasha na unajua uh, are you speaking on what do you mean England itakuwa kwa finali aje? England watapiga watapiga Switzerland leo. Ah, bro convince me how England which has not scored any very meaningful goal will be Switzerland tonight. How? Aje. Unajua unajua England wako na good squad yenye Southgate anashindwa tu kupanga peke yake. Na sasa kama ameshindwa group stage ataweza kuota. Pale wacheze na Watkins pale mbele. Ai. Hiyo timu itashinda itashinda Switzerland mapema sana. Buda mimi sikuamini wewe niambie tu mchezaji mgani atachange hiyo team Jude Bellingham hayuko Ken hayuko na nani hayuko Ken? coach mwenyewe Mwenye hayuko mafanza wako ikikuja tu kibati bati <laughs> eh itaenda hivyo tu kibati bati mpaka final the way tu unaona tu ikienda tu kibati bati tu Buda kwani euro ni ya kibati kibati situache ku watch basi <laughs> unaona leo tu kama anaweza tu Watkins pale mbele eh na weka Ken pale mbele eh uh-huh. Huko katikati achukue Rais, uh-huh. achukue Foden na hapo. Eh. Hiyo team my friend, Switzerland itapigwa mapema sana. Lakini niambie shida ya England imekuwa before huko akimungu Mungu diu kwa alikuwa na shida gani yenyewe watatatua leo? Hiyo timu imekuwa tu mzuri lakini ni ile tu Southgate anashindwa tu kupanga kikosi. Ukiangalia the best players wote wako England. Kweli? Ah, yeah, sasa ni kupanga tu kikosi tu ndio imemlemea tu ndi. Lakini leo kama ataweka tu hiyo kikosi tu vile hiyo forward nimekuambia tu hapo juu. Ukiangalia defense yao imekuwa mzuri all the way. <laughs> so ni pale tu mbele akifanya tu correction kidogo unaona kama mchezaji kama Watkins anamwacha nje all the time. Yeah. Mchezaji mzuri sana. Haya, so umeka mabao ngapi England na Switzerland? Ah, uh, leo natarajia England ishinde 2-0. Ndio kunatakuwa na wewe hapo kwa mtandao leo jioni taona tu nil basi. <laughs> Asante. Asante sana Duke from uh, Naivasha uh, talking to us in live. Tuko tunakaribisha I'm just showing you how important this show is to you. Nataka uongee na sisi upige simu. E, niko na mavindio wako pale nyuma. Ukisikia mavindio na kuambia hello e, unaichukua tu alafu anakusukuma huku kwa studio. So piga simu, piga simu. Mavindi weka hiyo namba, chafua chafua meza na hiyo namba. Tuweze kuona of course venye watu wanapiga shughuli hapa hivi. Wacha tuingie mbio mbio kwenye mambo ya Olympics. Um, most of you know by now that the national team, team Kenya that will represent in Kenya in the Paris 2024 Olympics was officially given the blessings of the nation at the house on the hill by uh, the president of the Republic of Kenya his excellency Dr William Ruto now uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the drone pictures i managed to get some very beautiful pictures uh, from uh, state house yesterday and these are pictures from the air pictures are drone mavindia tatwekezo picha nzuri sana and of course joseph kuria will also share into this Remember uh, over 70 athletes will be taking part in this competition. And one thing I picked up from um, this particular competition, uh, Mavindi naomba drone shot. Tafadhali. Imeandikwa tu Olympics drone shot. Tafadhali Mavindi. Uh, uh, remember 32 uh, athletes are female, 38 are men. And this of course goes in line with the 
stipulations of the constitution whereby there needs to be gender parity. So to a half half. So 32 men, uh, women, 38 uh, women. So mina omba tu winipati Olympics cuts za drone nione tu tafadhali na mashabiki wangu sababu wali request. Eh, tafadhali. So I'll wait for them. Yeah, we are just waiting for the Olympics team flag off. Uh, we had some lovely aerial pictures. Let me invite. It's drawn pictures. Naomba tu muziweke tafadhali. Mukonazo uko. The house on the hill in Ajulikana Kama State House. Uh, these are the Gen Z's who occupied State House yesterday uh, evening. Uh, this is the Gen Z team that will present in Kenya at the Olympics in uh, <laughs> Paris 2024. Paris. Um, Joseph, I'm sure uh, I know you've had the time to be at the. We shall end at State House, uh, Joseph. Unless, 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 but of course, with this kind of walking, with this kind of mm -hmm. red carpet for the athletes, it, it means a lot to them ahead of the Olympic Games. Most definitely. Uh, <clears throat> you know, carrying the, um, the flag to the Olympics means a lot. Uh, just wearing the, the team colors means a lot. And I believe we have the best uh, claim that a claim of, of, uh, of our athletes. We have the likes of Massimora. We have uh, the, our champion, uh, the 1500 uh, meters lady. We have a 4x4 team. Yes. So I believe, I believe yes. with that kind of team, they only need proper motivation. If, if uh, going by what Ababu told us some time back, yes. that uh, it means a lot, no money will be squandered by <laughs> whoever. Yes. Yes. So I believe and I think that is the motivation we need. And I believe the team will, will you know, fly our, um, our flag high. I also, I was also uh, amazed that we have some, some games that we never thought we would participate in, like fencing, mm -hmm. judo. I mean, these are games like, uh, I, I don't even know the rules, like the fencing, <laughs> but <laughs> it's, it's amazing to see such, such teams coming up. Yeah. Swimming as well, we, we, we had Danford uh, some time back. So I believe with that team, to Kona Rugby as well, it's a team that let's just motivate them to Kuwe Nyumaya, to Washangilie, and I'm sure we'll get some, quite a number of goals, if not, <laughs> if not all. <laughs> yeah, I know, of course, I remember last uh, Olympics we had uh, 10, <clears throat> if I'm not wrong, about 10 medals, mm -hmm. four of them were gold, because gold were normally the most important ones in the, yeah. in the last Olympics that were held in Tokyo. Uh, Rio, we managed to get about, uh, about I think it was six gold medals in Rio 20, 2016. 2020, 2020, we had in Tokyo, we had of course the delayed games due to COVID. Mm -hmm. We had about uh, four. Now we are looking to, uh, to have even much more, uh, many more medals. Now that we are fencing, judo, we have the women in volleyball, we have shuja, rugby, yeah, rugby. we have athletics. Uh, so um, I also am requesting uh, to, that those uh, videos and clips of athletes uh, who are working and then of course the handing over of the flag. So yesterday we managed to get these uh, particular uh, athletes in this very special ceremony at State House. So let's also take a look at the images of where the athletes, yes, there you are. Uh, if we can uh, just hear the sounds and sights during this particular event yesterday. Your Excellency, the athletes that we have, our representative 
of a big number that's going to be going for the Olympics. Currently, the teams that we have here, we have the para-athletes, we have the athletics team, and the rugby team. Your Excellency, sir, with your permission, we'll request that you welcome them each at a time, and I'll start by reading their names as they each approach to shake His Excellency's hand, then take their seat. I'll start with the para-athletes, Veronica Mutua, Mercy Chebet, Boniface Ontunga, Kevin Kip Korir, Reynold Kip Korir, Mary Mora, Timothy Cherry of the program. The flag also for the Paralympic team, after which I shall request, after she has received the flag, that we all now stand for the national anthem. We could not ask for more than expect your usual excellent role of being our premium ambassadors as you represent the brand Kenya fully and superbly. And I have no doubt in my mind that we will come back here to celebrate medals and to celebrate your excellence and success. My very best wishes from all of us, the 50 million of us, to you. As you go to Paris, please know that our goodwill, our prayers, our support in every way is right behind you. Uh, many of us may not uh, attend the Olympics. I had been asked by the President of France uh, to attend the Olympics, but uh, unfortunately I will not. But you have my support in every way. We will be right there with you and I will send a very uh, powerful team to stand with you. And Kenyans will be cheering you from every part of our country, including those who are away. So, asante ni sana. That is the president uh, of Kenya. Um, we have several other uh, bites or ups or... <laughs> Or oh, encouragement of words that he gave to the national uh, team Kenya is headed to Paris Olympics and some of the teams will be Stakwas Natoka uh, on Monday uh, going to the city of Miramas. And understand Miramas is North Amaniwapi, Ikotu, France. And that's of course where they'll be having that pre-training before the Olympics kick off on the 26th of July. If you're joining us this is Sports Extravaganza, um, we have managed to... <laughs> Yes, to quickly bring our lovely two ladies, we were missing them. Those too much testosterone on this show, but finally now we have equalized it. Uh, welcome, uh, Tabitha, Makumi, it's Thank good to see you. Good to Pole see you. Pole Kwambua. Ni shewa. Aki, sorry. <laughs> and of course, Makumi, Tabitha, Makumi, one of, of course, our uh, sports analysts. And also, Selin Waizira, karibu sana muna kafiti. Thank you. And as, uh, walichelewa tukidogo because walikuwa meenda kuona... Uh, salunist. <laughs> so alifanya kazi mzuri. Shout out kwa salunist pia ndo asikie poa kazi ya fiti ya mefanya. And they look very well. Karibu ni sana. Of course, Joseph Kuria now does not feel lonely. Of course, now you're talking about the Olympics. To end up pole pole, uh, kwa Olympics, we had the president. Let me also just uh, bring in uh, the second uh, piece of advice or encouragement that the president 
give to the national team that's headed to Paris. Team, team Kenya, that is, including the ceremonial kit, and also hand over to you our national flag, as I did shortly. May it be a symbol, an instrument, to motivate you to summon all you got to raise it high in Paris and make every Kenyan so proud and inspired to aim for the best in all our endeavors as we celebrate your success. I am very, very proud of the, the team that I see here. And I am particularly proud of the exercise we went into when I asked Ababu Namwamba that it is not fair for us to buy kits from all manner of places when we have Kenyan talent that can craft and curate an outfit that is truly Kenyan, designed by Kenyans, produced by Kenyans, and tailored by Kenyans. I am very proud that that we are doing this time around. And look at uh, the young people who have put this together. Can you stand again? You know? That is the kind of talent we have. And it is the reason, please take your seats. It is the reason why we have taken the position that we should not be importing what we can produce locally. I will continue to say this. We cannot possibly be importing um, kits, you know, the ones you guys are wearing, which can be made in Kenya. We cannot be importing eggs or potatoes or cement or furniture or diapers or bumpers that can be made in Kenya. We must make them in Kenya so that we can give Kenyans, like those young ones there, an opportunity to be designers and an opportunity to be um, uh, the people who produce them. That is how we are going to create a nation that has talent, that has opportunities, that creates jobs, and that creates wealth. Congratulations to the achievement that I see in this space. I will be watching keenly to see how that ceremonial dress designed by uh, uh, th those young uh, people there. Yeah, I will be watching to see the ceremony and I wish Kenyans can celebrate the young people who have put this together. That's His Excellency the President, Aki Changamusha. And of course, he was made a very important point about um, official kits, which uh, Tabitha, Celine, and Joseph will share into. Mm -hmm. uh, the President has insisted there is no need of us buying kits from US or, or Afghanistan or Bujumbura or Australia. And yet, we have designers right here in Kenya, we have companies right here in Kenya. We have companies that make cotton here in Kenya. We have companies that make leather belts here in Kenya. And that's the reason why they were also officially unveiling the Team Kenya official kit for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Let's take a look at those pictures, as of course um, my colleagues here in studio, my analysts share into this. Uh, I see the gentleman in the black and red. I know the mixed reaction about this uh, kit. What we have to say mingi about it, we have to say nini, oh, sijui, ah, he, he. But you know, changing kikuja, people are very reluctant to it. Acha ni anza na Joseph. Uh, in your own opinion, yamabo me check when yana kaiivo. Does it? Una feel uh, kama utabai yiki tu yiki tokea kwa soko. Uh, I think the, the design haika imbaya because I, to, on my own personal opinion, I think they are trying to promote a culture. And one of the cultures that is associated with us as Kenyans is the Maasai culture. So looking at the kit, I think it has a theme of uh, Maasai culture in it. But um, I, would, I would probably want to see more of other cultures as well because it's not only uh, the Maasai culture that is associated with us. We have other cultures as well. So if um, I'd like to also to, to know uh, what inspired such a theme. 
So it doesn't look bad, but I'm sure we can improve on a few things here and there. And being the first time we are, we are designing um, our kits locally, I think definitely there is room uh, for improvement. Um, yeah, it's something I would consider buying and uh, going it when I was study once in a while, you know. Yeah. C Celine, put a your skirt. I would, I would. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I would definitely, definitely wear it. But for me, I'll just say, Kitty Kwem Zuri Kwem Baya, your performance is all that matters. But I remember there is a time there were some kids, Zenyazil Kosme dropped you a while back, mm -hmm. and people were ranting about the kids' comfortability of the players and the athletes. But for me, I'll just say, whatever they wear, as long as it's comfortable in their bodies, it's good. It, you see, there's, uh, the kits have been put in several, they, they, there's a kit that will be used during the opening ceremony, mm -hmm. there's a kit that will be used during the Olympics, and then the closing ceremony. It will be sold in markets. Tabitha, culture yenu ili kwa considered kwa hii mix yote, ame unawana hapa enye wali watuwa kwa esabu. Absolutely. <laughs> I think this is mainly just one culture that is being represented here, the Maasai culture, which I have no problem with because I think it's an amazing culture. I just want to know if the next time we'll have a different culture. Plus, I think if we, if we were going to go all out African culture, Kungekua no throws us, just the Maasai shuka, like, try to dress it up like the way Commando style. <laughs> Not commando. <laughs> Obviously, we always end up commando style. <laughs> But like, I, I wish like if we were leaning more into our culture, we just lean in full percentage. I also don't know, yeah, white, yeah, uh, you know, gonna, you like print. Yeah. which one that is. And then for the girls, they should have made for them curvy dresses, cuts, yeah. Because it's, it's for the opening ceremony, they're not going to run with these things or do whatever yeah. sports yeah. they do with those. So yeah, just go full out. Like if you look at the last, the last lady, that one looks, you know, a little bit elegant. Exactly. Can, oh, yeah. see ya. Yeah. Just, see ya. I see ya. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's something you can wear even, you know, at a wedding a, ceremony. Yeah, exactly. you want something. But say like ya mora, yo, yo ni. Ya mora yo on the far, eh, on the far right. Yeah, on the far yeah. right. So probably some of them are quite uh, impressive, but some could have, of course, rooms for improvement. And definitely, next time Najua tuta, the designers will, you know, improve. Do better. Yeah, they'll do better. Definitely because of kuna hiyo critic na whatever, so they'll get more ideas on how to uh, to improve on the designs. And of course, I know this will be, these designers or these clothes will be on display mm -hmm. and they'll be sold in Paris. So najua eh, wazungu watanunua. Yeah. yeah. Lakini shida sasa sijui kama kina, kina Selina na Jose watabai. <laughs> na kina mavindia tujui kama watabai. Sisi tunango janga zileza free. <laughs> kuna vitu kuna vitu hapa tunaweza buy. Kama hizi tip hizi kit hizi za nini? Za I think za official opening. These these are very good kits. That is definitely something uh, most of us will will buy and wear. But zingine kidogo. Mimi nitabaiwa wa Masai. Yeah, I'm a long in a box as you come in. I'm going to get a free all out. I'm going to get a free This will not help you much. Okay. Uh -huh. Unless you get a free all out. You know, me, I can buy it I, somewhere. Yeah, because for, for memories. But rocking it, maybe when it's a jenga skirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's of course, of sure. and the president here, of course, had a one on one uh, close up. Uh, Mimi and you up on a shirt here, red, and a TV 47 apple. Yeah, I've never been this close to the president. Oh, eh, yeah. eh, kwa landa na vile una kuanga umechangamka apo ni nini uliogopa ama eh, we, apo nge fike hivi mzee. We, I still need to reproduce. Sija, sija, sija pata mutu huku inje so. He's a millennial. Saki kufinyo. Yes, Gen Z. I don't, want, I don't want to miss reproducing my other speaker. But of course, that was the national team uh, with His Excellency uh, yesterday evening at State House. We had a very, look out to me, invite you exclusively for this very important event. I'll be showing you some of the guests who will be coming later who are there in that event. But first of all, uh, let's listen in to uh, what the President said uh, to the athletes. As you are aware, 
the government did not spare any effort to support your qualification pathway in line with our commitment to support the identification, nurture, and promotion of talents under our Talent Sahela initiative. We will continue this work with you until you come back with a harvest of medals and experiences from Paris, when we shall monetize this with handsome rewards. And I want to promise you that I have given very clear and firm instructions to the ministry to make sure that the reward system represents the excellence that we have in our sportsmen and women, and also the allowances must keep in pace with the excellence that we see in our sportsmen men and women. It is very encouraging to know that we have some six sports disciplines qualified to represent the country in Paris. This is commendable and it goes to demonstrate that with more investment from the grassroots, technical, and other support system, Kenya can have a rich portfolio of sports to send to the quadrennial uh, games. And I want to very sincerely identify with the counties for partnering with us as we uh, enhance the pool of spaces where Kenyans can participate in this uh, endeavor. I am also delighted to learn that these games, and indeed our Kenyan delegation has largely upheld the gender balance consideration, which I applaud the leadership of the National Olympics Committee as I salute NOC for their laudable transformation to a robust, dynamic, forward-looking uh, forward institution. Let me also appreciate my team at the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports for bringing to life coherence and predictability to that space so as to make its contribution to the government's youth development agenda a reality. So the president has instructed the Ministry of Sports uh, and uh, Honorable Babu Namwamba to ensure they give proper reward, rewards for our athletes. Now, um, just before we listen to the last bit of what the president said, let me just uh, engage uh, my analyst about the reward system. Joseph, we well, on a reward system yeah, athletes. Of course, we have that one where Akishinda gold kuna. Yeah. Akishinda silver kuna. Mm -hmm. uh, but tumekuwa tukisiana athletes wanasema oh hajapati allowances, oh allowances ni kidogo. Uh, na hiyo austerity measures. Watu wataumia ama kutakuwa na pesa? Uh, look, we need to motivate them. And one, one way of motivating yeah. especially uh, players, be it football players or even athletes, so long as it's a sports player, it's about uh, the reward system. Yeah. And sio kuambia to that now, uh, ukishinda gold, you'll get, let's say, five million or something. Because what we meant to participate regardless of, of kama umepata your gold or not. So I think we should have a, re a proper reward system. So long as umefika kwa your team, yes. yeah, uh, your team enye meenda Olympics, you have you you know you'll get something out of out of that because that will as well motivate you to continue uh, practicing continue improving so our reward system first and foremost haiko sawa because to just care to uh, our president amesema to nitapea 1 million to whoever at a letter gold i'll give 200000 what about the other person who uh, went with our flag out there but they did they did they did not win but they right. represented the country so we should have a proper reward system like equal official, mm -hmm. not just kusema tu. Yeah. Then management ya hizo rewards pia. Sio kuambia, then our party. Yeah, there is no openness. There is no openness. Yeah, our semi, yeah. nani atapewa hii, exactly. nani atapewa hii, wanasema and tu kutakuwa na reward. And there should be a kiti kwa Ministry of Sports. Kwa sababu hii pesa inatoka hapi. Of course, I talk you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. whoever is saying. Ini taxi so, yangu mina ya. Yeah, there, there should be a kiti that this is the reward system and a proper way of managing it. Makumi, uh, it, there needs to be a policy. Like you see, every year we are thinking about rewarding athletes. Every year. Why don't we just have, mm -hmm. like if we to come a constitution. Makumi, yeah. mm -hmm. flag, whether meshinda or majashinda, akona hii. Mwenye meshinda, akona hii. Yeah, definitely. And I think we, even with the system, we transitioned to Kizama system, but if it actually never actualizes this, it's very disheartening because the thing is um 
We've seen this over and over again. Even you get to hear the president has given this amount of money, but it never reaches those people. So we should have an accountability system where they say it's five million. The players now come and confirm that yes, I have received this amount and this amount to this. Hakuna vitu za kupitia vichochoro ati nimepeana, nimepeana, nijue nitu nimepeana. And if nivo, wache kupeana hizo mambo za bank system. Wape watu cash. Mkitoka again. Nyongo kwa barabara. Haa, wewe ujue kenye utafanya nayo. Kuzi hiyo ya bank nini, unenda... I know of people who are complaining. Wanenanga kwa bank ila siku pesa yake ijaifika. Because that's how they will they will run you by for months, waiting for that bank statement in here to me pata pesa, and it's not there. So waki land to your siku, iso ceremony zenyo watu uenda, shugulikia watu your time, na nivo. No stories, to watch stories, mingi. I think for me... And remember, at least can be victimized. Wale wanakujanga, anasema wajapewa, unatolewa kwa school. I think they should emulate what like basketball does. For example, you take a team like Thunder, which played yesterday. We say you played today, you won the game, you are getting your allowances there. You are not going home without your allowances. And then when it comes to awarding, I uh, was saying some people are saying that like there should be like grants like for example you give a player like Omala uh, sorry Omanyala a grant and then in, in such a way the, that I think that one can be like motivation to the to the athletes and then when it comes to awards we saw the previous awards the one Akina Faith Morawa there the likes of the late Kip Tum I think those awards like we should have more of such awards because you cannot be having like one award annually, it doesn't work for me. Like we should have like awards, like waso amenda Olympics, wame Rudy, kuna awards. Maybe kuna zinetangoje Africa competition, wana Rudy, kuna awards. And then maybe partnerships. We have seen people making money with partnerships, the lack of multi-choice. Yeah. I think that's where that should come in. Etu nafai, you know, you know, awards ni motivation. Mi makumi ukujo ni perfect. Yangu ni ambe eseli enu linifanya hii. Kisho na ipiga tena. Yeah, I think, I think awards are really motivation to people. Actually, to add on what Selene is saying, we just had the African Senior Athletics Championships. Kumduala. Ilisha. What happened to them? Hatujui. What happened to, yani, si tuna, sasa tunashugulike Olympics, wanyo liendo Olympics. How about these other competitions ambazo? who has in Endelea. So that's why award system ni poor. So hata when you amend other competitions as well, wana benefit from the awards. See your basically at the yeah. Olympics peke yake. Because now we are concentrating on Olympics. To Mr. Howe is a zingini at junior teams there. I think we should look like the way Chapadimba was. The winners were Lipewa, Simu, they were given, yeah, something yeah, like times. that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I meant. think it should be applied to every adit even a little tournament in a fair core evil. Yeah, but we'll see. This is our our system, your sports. Kidogo iku kuchini, but tunaitaji watu wa kupusha watu kuwa dunga hivi tushindanu wa mke. Sasa njindo muna wa dunga. Mwana ni mawapate hiyo kazi mudunge. Mwende kudunga sekali. But of course, that's true. Just so you've mentioned, recently we had the senior athletics team that went to Duala, came back, they won so many medals. Part of that team had Julius Yego, who of course has qualified for the Olympics. Sijasikia wa kisemekana walipewa hii na hii. Honorable wa babu na muamba sports yes tafadhali. Unda tu policy, ikuwe tu mahali. Yani tusikuwe tuna, kila wakati tunaomba incentives, rewards na cash. Exactly. Haya. Let's listen in to the last bit of what the president said at State House yesterday night. I wholeheartedly congratulate the athletes of Kenya for being at the forefront of service to the nation and take pride in, their associated, in being associated with these champions on behalf of the 50 million Kenyans. I fully understand that your journey to the top echelons of being champions and Olympians is long and tedious, periled with a lot of personal sacrifice. But that is why you remain the nation's source of inspiration as you continually represent our collective spirit of hard work and resilience. Listening to the two speakers, great Kenyans who spoke here, 
they speak of the many things that you have gone through, both in Eldoret, in Nairobi, and in other areas as you prepare. The Beckoning Olympics in Paris is not a walk in the park. Every nation has prepared its athletes and will be representing and presenting the finest of them all at the Olympics. Today, I take tremendous joy in knowing that we too are sending not just the finest of Kenya, but that of the world. You are our gallant warriors to this sporting challenge and rest assured that the entire nation is behind you in every step of this noble assignment as you unleash your fullest potential at the global showpiece. And I, I have heard you say you will spare no effort. And uh, what uh, my dear sister representing the Paralympics said, that they will do their best. That is, that is all we ask. Uh, you, President, Dr. William Ruto, at State House. Now, um, you know, to make all protocols of that, lazima wanze na president. We, we came to na kitungine tofauti, we mevunja protocol. Takutembele, dijenzi wata kusalimia. Now, uh, just before my, I was about to call my two ladies Gen Zs. Nini Gen Z? Ama mutaki ukujiwa na serikali. This was extravagant. I'm not alone. I'm with, of course, with Joseph, Tabitha, and uh, Celine. Um, there were those invited guests yesterday night at State House, and um, uh, I took keen interest in who was there. I know to my fellow athletes. The, uh, just be, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll talk about it as we go. So there is the Excellency Ambassador of uh, uh, France to Kenya, uh, Arnold Suhe. There was also the Speaker of the Senate, Limona Pale. Uh, Amazon Kingi. Yeah, that's, uh, as you can see, in that, is it pink or maroon? Then, of course, the Chinese ambassador to Kenya, the Egyptian ambassador to Kenya, and also, I'm forgetting who else was there. Yes, and also a host of athletes who are also there. There are also um, CEOs from um, different companies. I saw the CEO of Kenya Airways. I saw the CEO of uh, the betting company, Sita Sema Jujose, and then Staki Kwa Dosiwake. And then there was uh, the CEO of... Uh, <laughs> There are several other CEOs from different organizations. And um, I, this, I think, they were invited at State House Nairobi for, uh, yes, to tell them that at least Wakishinda, Utatoa Pesavlani, Wapati, Ya Nini. Jose, I mean, summoning such uh, top, top CEOs in the country for this event, flagging off the national team, I'm sure the president was trying to tell the CEOs and then Kupanga budget. You see, kuna kitu kwa every company, kuna kitu nyanyitwa CSR. <coughs> and one of um, functions of CSR ni to give back to the society. So, I don't, okay, it's a good thing aliwaita, awambia wapange mapema, but hii inafa kuwa at the back of their heads that kuna a certain amount that tuna give back to the society na hii yenye tunapea back to society, a certain chunk of it, itakuwa ya athletes or our sports. Uh, you know our sportsmen and women. So, sasa, I'm assuming if there comes another another event, at Awaita Tena for the same thing, then uh, there is another event, Awaita Tena for the, to do the same thing. So, if, if Nikitu Ineza Kua, there is a policy, uh, drafted well, Ipe Sanye Tumetoa, part of it near our sports, our sportsmen and women, and Ikue the protocol, that is how uh, it akwe inaoperate. Then, I think atuta kuwa ati back and forth kila wakati tena atawaita. Eh? The next time tena ita all the CEOs again. I mean, ita vajiba, Selin Tabitha, manuona aje? Ya, nanu umono yu list invited guests. Nimona hapo COG, Council of Governors, Chairperson wa Iguru. Nimona hapo kina Senate. Nimona hapo PS wa Sports. Nimona hapo PS wa Security, Amolo. As in there are an array of top government officials who are here uh, this ceremony. Kwako Tabitha Unge, do you think it served its purpose? Because yeah. the president always communicates something every time there is this kind of such big events. 
Yeah, I think it's a good thing for him to take up that initiative. In terms of, you think of even athletes or sports people out there in the world, many of them earn their livelihoods through the partnerships that they have made, the collaborations they make. Like, I'm thinking like 70% of the athletes here should have a deal with a certain type of company yeah. where they are probably advertising for them and you know, because these are people we should know if we don't know them. So I think that goes a long way into these people earning money. You look at even sports people like Messi Nasianga, but he hasn't even touched his salary exactly. during 10 years. Yes. He has been living off the deals, partnerships that he has made with different companies. And I think that should be the same thing that's happening in our country. And you think, just what Joseph has said, in terms of, you look at um, companies in Guinea, yes. it's a given. If your company works in something to do with sports, either betting and mini, your forefront yeah. person who should be running even advertisement should be someone who is a sports person. So I think it's a good incentive, but at the same time, it shouldn't be something that we are congr uh, congratulating yes. them for doing. It should be something they should have done way back when. Because we've always been good at uh, athletics, most especially. Yeah. Like, it's a known thing, and <coughs> it's disappointing that in 2024, this is what we are congratulating companies and government for. I think for me, I would say, I don't think like, okay, it's a good thing, but they should not be coming out the time that you have like bigger tournaments. Yeah. I, uh, you remember, there is a time Alexander Ndolo was here and she was saying for her to go to the to competition outside the yes. continent, she has to Get come it. up with a budget and give it to the government. But this is something, for example, you say the Kenya Leonesses, or let me, t let me take Malkia Strikers, they qualify for Olympics. in You have qualified, so us as a country, we are taking everything. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to this, I, I, I think I'm a little bit disappointed because if you look at all those faces we have seen, maybe 50% is when you, when you are to come through for it, but others will be like, oh, um, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. But I think even before this, if you do this, you'll get this in reward. And I think Makomi has said it in partnership. That comes like, let's say, a, a tip, a tip. Like you have, go, you have won whatever you have won. There is a award given for you. So we have seen Omala doing, partnerships with many teams. Yeah. But let's see how it goes. But was going to that particular time, we have like a big tournament. What okay? Like, okay, I'll just say it. We saw, 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 Okay, I'll just well, say it. We saw, we saw it, the game of, it, it was Ethiopia and <coughs> Kenya. No, yeah. it was Burundi, mm -hmm. the, the one they qualified. We saw, like, I went there the first game they played with Ethiopia, and people were not there. But this particular one they were qualifying, you saw this big the people there. Full, yeah. You saw them there. I'm like, where were you when, this, when, they, when they were when starting they were out there? The stages. Yeah, where yeah. were you? Like, that's what I'm saying right here. Like, mtokea mapema. Tunajua tunazia group stages. So you are there, group stages. To me, talk a group stages, yeah. But, but it's a good thing. It's a good yeah. thing seeing people coming out. You know, athletics put us out there. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a good thing. It was for the Haram Junior Stalins. Yeah, Julius, the Junior Stalins yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we saw water. so many big dignitaries on that game. <laughs> Omeka VIP section, yeah. and they're like, you can't even talk to anyone at that time, and you're like, Mulikuwa wapi? Where were you? Like, mm. the support is, the congratulations iko mingi when you're up there, yeah. but they keep on up at Chini very minimal because you know if you start ukuchini it will give them motivation yeah, yeah like tungangane tungangane yeah yeah eh yeah. wadosi na ma na ma government officials wakubwa wetu hizi njaro za kudoea tu fame sasa ile tumeanza kushinda ati ndio mnapatikana ulinzi sports complex ati oh sasa tuende ati na vuvuzi yani unapata Government official ata juu kupuliza vuvuzela, ati amebeba vuvuzela, ameenda ulinzi sports complex, ati kuenda kushangilia junior starlets. Juu umesikia tunenda kushinda. World Cup. Tunenda World Cup. Tunenda World Cup. Na tumesha shinda awe. Tumekuwa tusha shinda awe. Tumekuwa tukusolidify. Ati tunenda. Government official, Stafadali, let's just set up policy. Something, ikue tu mahali, tujue tu, yani kuna framework. Ya hizi vitu wanyeza nafazi fanyike. 
ndio watu wakijua kianza group stages wanajua mkono wao kuanzia group stages si tu wanaona mmeshuka sasa naweza wasomea sana vile nimesomea director wangu <laughs> if you guys are this was extravaganza eh, Tony Kwalanda here I'm with Joseph Kuria niko na Tabitha Makumi na of course niko na Celine with the host of course an entire production team kutoka ma director mpaka ma producers next uh, ababu na mwamba the CS for sports he also was at this event and I have a couple of uh, information and bites to speak let's listen into what he had to say first we are there for delighted as a ministry to present to you 70 Olympic athletes and nine Paralympic athletes who have qualified for those two segments with the Olympics kicking off on 26th of this month and running until the 11th of August and thereafter the Paralympics program. I am delighted to report to you, Your Excellency, that this particular Olympics will witness an extended spread of disciplines and uh, president tagard has indicated the six disciplines athletics rugby swimming fencing judo as the areas where we have qualified athletes i'm also glad to report to you your excellency that this is the best prepared kenya team to any olympics in history and government has invested in this team appropriately we have invested in qualification and we have taken all federations to all qualification opportunities around the world we have invested in training both here at home at kasarani in eldred for high altitude training we have invested in a special training camp in mehamas in the south of france in the marseille region which is which has been available for a whole year for team kenya to train and i'm delighted to acknowledge the partnership between the government of kenya and the government of france in that respect and particularly <laughs> the municipality of mehamas and ambassador suke asante sana for that uh, for that incredible show of friendship um selina matabitha mulinian you you made some faces when his excellency honorable ababu was speaking about we are fully invested in this squad what do you know that we don't know me <laughs> <laughs> just that by saying don't write a speech ukuje utusomea hapo na tuoni vitu kwa groove ile zinaenda you know nilikuwa ni sema this is pr but it's okay don't come for me please <laughs> no hata kukujia i'm free <laughs> immune no hata kukujia sema yeah. sema but i think these words we hear them time so and much. time and time and time. i'm actually fed up i've heard all this from nick mwendo will do this and this and this and now it's a babu nikao ameambukizana <laughs> but i think ni msikia kisema something there the partnership between france and okay. kenya i think that's a good thing because the olympics obviously they will be at france i think that's a good thing yeah. but uh, can we just see them uku kwa grau bana nyayo wope na renovate i think they're just renovating the the tough the ya kuchezea ball uko kwingine hakuna the places are swimming okay handball the places for handballs in aka vizuri but i think they should really invest trucks what we care sheds gosh i don't know me tanza current rant for the 3 hours rant rant tabitha you've seen of course um endorsement of athletes ile tuko tumeongea earlier of course tukiongea hii ababu wenye amesema we invested ah ma ceo CS ako na powers za kwenda kwa Safaricom, KQ ama hizi kampuni zingine kuambia I want you to take this certain of athletes either muwapatie job ama muendos so that they can be sustainable. Isikuwa tunawapatia sai do sai. True. Um what I usually think these people wako na zile maneno matamu ya kutoa nyoka pangoni na kumrudisha wakishamtoa. That's what they usually do. So I am also fed up as Celine is with these words of investing. Kwanza me I don't want to, to hear you say you've invested. I want where you have invested for that place to speak for itself. Because it's like me saying 
oh kwa landa have invested in you have invested in you na maybe ni socks na kunilia na chai na siezi mind but kabila siezi mind socks yeah. Yeah. I love at the end of it all like I spent so much money on him I invested there's nothing to show for if if I've invested let the investment speak for itself because we've had this investment when I think in akwanga like buzzword yao we have invested we are partnership as in I want to see this partnership bringing something see players way to our when you are in athletics when they go to the ski on a lala and jar see you lala room i don't know if you remember that saga of brazil yes when you all come in kulala in favelas and then the whole team au masies na nini wameenda extravagant hotels wa ki bring their girlfriends and their wives as in it was so chaotic that i don't think any person who is going to represent their country should go through that again So I want to see if that investment will pay off. I want to see our athletes being treated like the kings and queens that they are as in good treatment because unaenda uko ku fly the flag of Kenya and then if we win something big like we saw Rudisha countlessly yego na nini watakuwa hapo mbele wakijipiga kifua see what we have done see what you have done nothing because these people literally push themselves mtu anakopa na take loan ndio hata travel na nini na nini and we don't see that happening so i don't want to speak so much i want to see the actions mnionyeshe kitu ya ku believe in ya ku invest that means i'm going to invest kwa cs so we are uh, joseph i know you have to say something and uh, let's just take a short short but before we go i mean kuna vitu mingi za current Uh, let me first of all run to the question of the day. I want you to win something. I know most of you were waiting to see this question. Asema tuni kwani una swali. Swali ndio rais which two teams do you think will meet in the final of the Euro 2024? Timu ngapi mbili zafuzu kwa finali ya Euro 2024? Talk to us on WhatsApp. WhatsApp lazima unitumbie video fupi 20 seconds. Chukua video fiti, weka sauti chini, piga kiluku, weka style. Hata unaweza kufanya wewe tu ma tu WhatsApp. Number 0793267279 ni WhatsApp. Tupigie simu pia. Uh, namba itakuwa hapo kwa below on your screen uh, for your chance of course to win yourself airtime. Isho ni yako, tuta communicate kwako washindi of course at the end of this particular show. Niko na judges watachagua nani atakuwa ameshinda. So two miles of video clips. And also uh, just after this break also we shall be listening to Ababu na Mwamba speak about whether Joy Riders have air tickets or they have to buy their tickets when they're going to Olympics. Iyo after this break.